Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the city of Angels, Los the Angeles, Titans. California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, my hate receiving first, bro. I like kicking. And off we go from so far. Oh, dude. <clears throat> Taken in the end zone, and this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's going to be out. Start to drive 20 big ones in a first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's dating the obvious. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. I had Tyler Higby right there. I rushed that throw. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 50 yard line. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. They'll run. This is ah, Henderson had a lane right there, too. Up at about the 47 yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Let's see if we can get Cooper two. Cup coming across. Now gone. That is incomplete. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. You want to see what they can get. Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. And open its cup. He's got it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six yard gain, and it all works out. I had to go for that because this first drive, bro. Numbers already at the 50, bro. It's like I'm, I'll give it, I'll give it up at the 50 because I'm, I'm confident in my defensive play. Golf on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. 16 yards is the pick up there and a first down for L.A. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room... Let's see if we can fake this jet now that we've uh, got that first jet sweep off for 20 run for 20 yards. And we got that screen playoff. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Henderson now on first and ten. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Malcolm Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. See what we got now. Two over the middle. I might be able to get hit. Me. It's a first down. First and ten at the twelve yard line. From down at the twelve, it's first and ten. A 
Shotgun snap for gone. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. I wonder if I can get to this. Before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone set. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. First and goal at the one-yard line. First and goal at the one. They'll look to run oh, by everything. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. A loss of two there. Second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. Let's see if he can sneak the running back out. Second down and goal. Golf. Dance. And the Rams with a score. Touchdown. <laughs> he was, I don't know why he left that open like that. That was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. <laughs> he left that lane wide open, bro. That had to stick that. I had to just like run that in, bro. There was no way I wasn't running that in. It's up, it's good. And Golf was slow as hell, but he he took off. After one, seven, nothing on the A Sports. He took a whole quarter off that with that drive, so that's good. <laughs> now he play defense. Send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. On the return, the Titans take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. I'm going to play 3-4 under. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 22. Seen that run come in. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13, Tannehill eluding the pressure right. Yeah, he's going to keep it here. All in all, no gain on the play. Oh, I should have got that sack. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Third and long, it's Tannehill. Picked off, baby. Pick six. Pick six. Pick six, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Now you got a two touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense. He's gonna quit. He's for sure gonna quit. This dog, he gonna quit. <laughs> he gonna quit, man. He gonna quit for sure. I can feel it, bro. You gave up a pick six. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes. You better keep the ball on the ground, bro. I'm playing press with these DBs, bro. guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Takes this about five yards deep. No chased him down with Hopkins. Down with Bryson, Bryson Hopkins right, right, right there with the, with the chase down. Let's see if he's got that cover, that, that cover six figured out yet. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they're in a bind early here. Down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transfer. Okay, he found a hole. I gotta be careful. Make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy <coughs> who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. 
I need to attack that center. He's a little weak. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. Very nice stop by was that Leonard Ford? Despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Now that was Kizzer. Loss of three on that first down. <clears> Come on. Now second and 13. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. John o. Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Johnson third down. Come on. Behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Complete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Spread the D line because they're obviously doubling Aaron Donald on this play. They're trying to get that blah 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 on the air. I'm gonna get my linebackers, I'm gonna zone them from the gun. Here's Tannehill escaping the pressure right, picked off. Ebelcam. Go, Ebu Camp, go, go, go. <laughs> so close. So close. He was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball. Let's try to run it in real quick. He was open, but I think the quarterback spotted him too late. And that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. I'm going to troll him a little bit. He call a timeout. I'm going to do a QB sneak. Two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. No way, bro. Golf. Golf. Are you serious? No way. That was a nice turnover, bro. That was nice. Fucking golf. Typical golf, bro. Come on, golf. No way, bro. No. Oh, I was not. I was not prepared for that either. For that throw. Damn! I cannot believe that, bro. Golf fumbled at the line, bro. There's no way. I'm gonna keep everything in the up top because he's gonna try to go for that. He's gonna try to do an air raid. When halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And this one Aaron Donald came in quick. I thought I was going to get a sack right there. I got to keep all these guys in the air. Damn, Ramsey missed the tackle. No gain on the play there. <laughs> and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. It's rare that a man his size can at least push forward. What for is he going with? But they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in. He's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Incomplete, baby. Incomplete. We got a 148. I'm going to try to pop this screen real quick, bro. I'm glad we got the ball back right there. But, uh... What? Bro, you had open field. Shaq back at about the 43 yard line. Jack Crawford. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. I cannot believe that, bro. How did he not get that ball off? After the sack, it's second and 20. Oh. 
That was stupid. I don't know what happened right there. My game like lagged or something. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. First down, Tennessee. They keep it with Henry on first down. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The Titans going to use the first of Hey, that was a nice turnover, bro. As the clock's going to stop with that was a very nice turnover. To go in I like good one. games, bro. Salute. That was really good. Now on second and 13, Tannehill. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. That first read that you had, maybe you get it in pre -snap. You gotta stop this air. You gotta stop this air attack. I can't believe I didn't get that screen off, bro. That screen was wide open, bro. Ah. Oh. Got a rough in the passer. Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Tannehill. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jonu Smith. Smith as the first half is winding down. And the Titans have made this a one-score game. The way this one was going, that was a good score. Damn, bro. I cannot something. believe that I threw that pick right there. After, like, man. That takes me back to our after getting that, after hitting that, that fourth, that fourth down standoff. I should have just kept it on the ground. After that screenplay blew up, I should have just kept it on the ground. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. And that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Goff on the draw play to Henderson. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Simmons on the stop. No gain on that. And that'll do it for Just the like go second quarter. quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, operating gun, getting set for quarter number three here. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. <clears throat> and this carries into the end zone. I can't believe golf fumbled, bro. I, can't, I still can't believe that. Officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Tannehill. 
Now they go screen. It's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Tannehill on first down. How did he give that up? I know I ran man covers right there. But man. And the Titans first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the 37. Shit, I gotta stop him. I gotta hold him to a field goal. They'll run on first down. Henry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 39-yard line. <laughs> on second and 12. Tannehill. Sacked. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams. AD with the sack, baby. That's what we needed right there. Aaron Donald gets the sack. Let's keep everybody up top. Let's hold him to a field goal. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly... The momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. She needed that sack. Long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Got a man and he hits him in stride. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. I gotta watch the screen. I'm gonna have to cover with the zone and the linebacker to watch the screen pass. <clears throat> Tannehill staying out there. They're gonna go on fourth down. Sack. Yes. Two sacks in a row, Aaron Donald. Yeah, we needed that turnover. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. At the 43 yard line. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Throwing on second and three. Golf gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby. There we go. Yards the pick up there, move the chains. Ten at the 23 yard line. <laughs> On first and ten, gone. Oh shit, miss that, that pressure came in quick. Jack Crawford able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down at the 28. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done.
I'm gonna have a lot coming over the. I feel like he's gonna bring pressure, but as long as I don't turn over the ball here, that's all that matters. Because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily. Oh, that's off. So they gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Oh, that's heading right. Forbath cannot connect. It's no good. God damn it, Kai Forbath, you suck. Where it is. That one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. They begin with Henry. And yeah, this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard after the 36. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them. So they keep handing it to him. Yes! And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off. Yes! We needed that. This has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. After the interception, here's goal. This throw is incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, but it's going to be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. To throw is gone. What? What the hell was that? Right there. That's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they bro, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, bro. Hell no. Teammates a chance to win it, and that's exactly what they did. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone. This is the fakest game I've ever played in my life, bro. This is the fakest game I've ever played in my life, bro. Hell no. This game is fake as hell. There's no way. You just there's no fucking way he just stripped my QB like that. <laughs> he just stripped my tight end for a for a fumble and throws a touchdown in the first play. That's crazy. This game is a joke. <laughs> This game is a fucking joke, bro. There's no way he did that, bro. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. I cannot believe that shit, bro. <laughs> this game is funny, though. Like, I don't know. That's the bad news. The good news. Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's tackled at the 30. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action. I can't believe, bro. Tyler Higby got stripped for the ball, bro, and gave up like that. That's crazy. On second and one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around. A first.
first down as well. The interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, here's Goff. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 20-yard line. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Henderson. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They run once more with Henderson. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Cooper Cup for the touchdown, baby. The connection there, Goff to Cooper Cup. And the Rams have taken the lead. That was a big score right there. I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced a two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. And that one will bounce out of the back. If golf didn't hit that fumble, bro. We will start here at the 25. I gotta keep some people up top. Offense set to begin the drive. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time—it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on the Friday. Situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. They have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. One play has him up past the 40 already. And Come on, what is that, bro? They'll run on first down. It's Henry. That should have been a holding call. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Aaron Donald in there to drop him as that clock continues. Back to back, baby. Come on, this is, this is getting close, bro. You cannot give it up. Oh. See in the course of a game come to the outside the perimeter of the field in this case they use the slot receiver to run deep downfield and try to connect that way unsuccessful in that attempt but i like what they were doing
Here we go on four. Tannehill. Get out of here. Incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. That was a safety Taylor wrap right there on the coverage. Game over, baby. That makes him now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say they're showing a lot of guts going. Game over. GG's. Good game, man. Because it's not working for them. They've got to figure out. We went 21-14. It should have been 28-14, bro. I had to like really play hard right there, bro. Because like not play hard, but like man, I had to like actually play at the end there and not and not give up the L. Not give up the L, bro. So the LA Rams a victory here, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one. Today's defense. What Tyler mean, Higby with the fumble and they scored off that. That was just man, that was We got the dub though, man. We got the dub. That's all that matters. I got the dub, man. Brought the dub home. Jared Goff with the fumble at the goal line. It's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions. Get the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. That was a good game. You see the highlights? That was a nice touchdown throw. Oh, my highlights are invisible. Nice. Very nice, Madden. That's that pick six I had right there. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This we both had three takeaways. That was a very nice uh, user user strip eight fumble eight he did on me, man, to get the ball back, to get the ball in his favor Angeles. and then score off that. That was... A crazy combination of events right there, but that was also that was a good game, man. We won, got the dub. Rams checked out, checked in. He wasn't biting on the jet sweeps. I should have kept running those because I could have got a bunch of yards out of those, but uh, and the fake jet sweep and all that shit. But I didn't do too many. I just kind of kept it OG with some slots. I didn't really feed Woods too much, but. Uh, we made it happen. 75% completion ratio. That's not too bad, I guess. We got too many yards on offense. We both had three turnovers, bro. But I had a pick and a, a pick and two fumbles, bro. And it's like Jared Goff fumbled at the goal line. Nothing I can really do about that. The interception I could have definitely could have avoided, but oh well, it happens. No one was really open downfield either. We don't really have a, a we have a good receiving core, but sometimes people don't get open downfield, so I can't really make any big plays like I want to. One for one on fourth down. I stopped him on fourth down pretty well. Seems like that uh that cover that cover six defense holds up pretty well. I just adjust my defense as I go. Uh, that's my little base. I'm probably not the the best to be running that, but whatever. Well, that was the Rams versus Titans. A little face off. We're gonna run another game back, most likely, but we're gonna stop it for now.